smile. <laughs> How I came to Christ. So, my name is Anna Lynn, and I'm a I'm a senior at Stan Island Tech. Um, before I came to Christ, I was really quiet. Um, I was really shy. I got bullied. Um, I didn't really have friends except like two, Savannah Cart and Sylvan Cho. And um, like I really didn't feel any motivation in my life. Like, me, um, like, oh, like I remember just like running home from school and just like going to my room and just yeah. I, I was not <laughs> like how I am now. Um, I guess part of it was just like the lack of feeling love at home. Um, cause my both like my I think both my parents worked, and then um, like my sister and I would watch Anthony, but there was a lot. Yeah, we didn't talk for like a year. Um. So I know would love us, and I, I had no motivation to live. I was just like, like I don't know if I was depressed. I, I might have been, but it was just that that whole period of my time, uh, my life, like during middle school. Um, a Subin Cho, she brought me to the church, and um, it was right near my house, which was pretty cool because in New Jersey you have to drive everywhere, and my mom she wouldn't drive me to places, you know, unless it's for school. So as for church, um, Subin would drive me, or like I would walk there and then walk back. And I remember this one time. She was like, you can't go to church. And then I think, because I was really young and I couldn't, and I was really frustrated that I couldn't go, I like, I remember getting out of the car and then running all the way to church. It was a good, like, two miles, I think. <laughs> but, um, but in the beginning, she was okay with it. I think it was because she saw that um, I was slowly getting better. Like, I, I, was, I, was, I had more emotion in me. Like, um, usually I would just be like, she'd be like, I'll come eat dinner and I'll be like, but like I think after church I was more like hi mom or like more responsive I guess um because when I came, when I went to church I felt like I felt loved and I felt that like like I didn't know who God was but I wanted to know who He was because like this class and Pastor Joe he was um, teaching me about Jesus and how he he died on the cross for us and then I was just really touched I was really accepting too of because. I don't know, I felt that I, like I was able to see what love was and I was able to feel happiness because when I was at church I would break down um, when like we were worshipping or something I just felt this is something in my heart that was just like Anna, God is talking to you and God is forgiving you all that you've done in the past, He still loves you Anna and I was just like, I was so, uh, and like and I always, He's like the reason why I'm happy and I have so much confidence because like I just feel it. it's it's not really something you can describe. Like you can't like you can't prove to anyone like oh God is real. But like once you feel love, once you feel grace, once you feel like everything, it's just overwhelming. And then um, sometimes I mean like keeping the faith is really hard. But uh, you know you gotta remember that um, every day is a bus. No matter what, like every people will leave, people will disappoint us. But you remember that God will never disappoint us. And like. Sometimes things happen that we don't like understand, but you know God's knowledge is He's all powerful, Almighty God. How we cannot comprehend why, like why? Oh uh, my, my friend, my friend Jasmine Kundala, um, she she texted me once and she was like, Oh Anna, I realized why you're so happy all the time and why you never give up. It's because of God, isn't it? And I was just like, Wow, right, right on, because it's so true. Um, we were always gonna have difficulties. we you know, like. Some people look at me and be like, oh, you know, she's so happy all the time and stuff. But I honestly, like, I get I get sad sometimes. I get frustrated. I get angry. I mean, we're all human. But I tend to, I mean, we're all human. But I tend to, um, you know, I tend to remember that, like, I tend to go to God and, like, and I, go, and I know that God will make everything okay in the end and that um, God is always good. <laughs> I mean, um, so, you know, God is the reason why. Um, I'm happy today and I'm so loud and cheerful and yeah and I feel like God gave me so much like I wasted so much in the past um, like being sad so that's why right now like I try to be really optimistic and you know make the best out of everything because I know a lot of people don't have what I have and I, I want to reach out to like the, the I want to help as many help as many people as I can and I guess um, media is a great way like YouTube, Tumblr 
Yeah, just daily reminders that, you know, everything will be okay. Oh, sorry, I'm eating Japanese candy. <laughs> so that, I hope that everybody had a great break. And uh, if you guys have any prayers or any prayer requests or anything you want to talk about, any questions, you can just comment right below. So to sum it up, um, I just love that. The greatest happiness I get is from just knowing God more and being around um, followers. And just, you know, every time someone comes to realize how amazing God is, I just get so happy. My friend Philip Kim, he recently, he um, he was reborn in Christ, so yay! <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I encourage you guys to share your own stories of Christ. That is one of the ways you could um, be a, like, a, like keep their faith. And, you know, just, just remember that you are born for many reasons and um, God has great plans for you to succeed. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Alright, so peace out, brother!